Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Ethan Drew, and we're going to be reacting to and breaking down Valhalla Calling by the original songwriter, Miracle of Sound, aka Gav. Now, for those of you who don't know this song, this is the original song and the original writer for Voice Plays cover of Valhalla Calling, which you may have noticed that I covered previously on, here on the channel. And for those of you that are also unaware, this song and a co-creator in a different version of this song are involved in a fair bit of controversy here in the music industry. Um, the original writer, Gav, um, he has been having some issues with another creator that he actually did a version of this song with. Um, that creator's name is Peyton Parrish, who has rose to fame on the TikTok app and is known for his metal covers, Viking covers, mix of both, etc. Um, he quickly picked up steam for his cover of Valhalla Calling and they eventually got together and did a version of the song together, Gav and Peyton Parrish. And then, to my understanding, Peyton Parrish um, did his own version of the song and then began claiming the song as his own. Um, and for those that don't know, um, that is very taboo in the music industry to claim something that is not yours as your own. And rightfully so, this made Gav um, pretty upset. Uh, and... I'm not really going to state where I stand on the issue. All I will say is that it's unfortunate to hear that we have this big of a issue that has come of this. And I'm glad that although it's been mostly talked through and resolved already, um, I just wanted to give you guys some context and some background information on the controversy that was surrounding the collaboration, the version with Peyton Parrish in it. And um, the version also that Peyton Parrish did without Gav and claiming it as his own. And for those that don't know, this song was originally in uh, one of the, I believe it was either Skyrim or Assassin's Creed. I'm not really into that side of gaming, so forgive my ignorance. But it is a video game song, and actually the song itself has gotten more popular than the video game itself if i recall correctly so again double check my facts but that's that's what i gather and like i said it's unfortunate to hear that that situation got as big as it did it's unfortunate that it happened but i'm glad that it's pretty much resolved at this point point. and now that we've got the background information out of the way we're going to migrate on to the actual video and the bread and butter and the reason why we're here today. I'm here to break down the music, what you hear going on in it, and some of the really cool niches, really cool pieces of the music that make it what it is, including the vocals, instruments, etc. to the best of my ability. And for those who don't know me, hey, I'm Ethan Drew, and I just explained what I do here on the channel, but that's more in the reaction analysis side of the channel. Um, on this channel, though, my main mission is to cultivate your appreciation for music through reaction analysis videos, interviews with musicians and pod or singers, as well as music of my own, which I do have something coming out pretty soon. So stay tuned for that in the meantime. But and I also have some podcasts coming up soon. So stay tuned for those as well. But if you guys are liking the content, I appreciate it. If you like this video, drop a comment down below, even if it's just a smiley face. It helps with the algorithm. And subscribe with notifications turned on so that way you never miss another upload. And if you are feeling generous and want to contribute to my career here on YouTube, I very much appreciate it if you would visit the Patre my Patreon in the description where you can support me financially if you want to. It's not required to enjoy the content by any means. Now with that said, we're going to dive into this. Grab my headset. And then, pardon the noise, and we switch. And I'm going to move myself. That's the wrong frame. I'm going to move myself to this corner here. 
Bear with me. All right. And like I said, guys, I will be looking this direction, um, but I'll be looking at the camera to chat about what's going on in the music. So, and just for some more clarity, guys, um, Gav actually re-released um, the song without Peyton Parrish in it. And um, although the version with the co-version is in it, he re-recorded this. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, perhaps to express his frustration with the issue, but either way, that's that's neither here nor there. We're getting ready to listen to this, and yeah, let's dive right in and see what's going on in the music. Like I've heard this before, so this is not a first-time reaction, but let's see what Gav has in store for us today. Okay, so a couple of really cool things to talk about in the beginning of this here. So let's talk about some of the drums and some of the or some of the percussion drums and some of the instruments that you're hearing in the background, right? So let's listen to the first few seconds again. Okay, so I'm hearing several different kinds of drums in the background perhaps a large drum i f forget the name of it um it's a bass drum but I, I forget the musical name for it it's similar to the bass drum that a lot of people use in like concert bands and symphonies and such it's very big it's huge um so that's probably in there there's probably several smaller drums um, I think I'm hearing a very light triangle clink as well. It's, it's so, it's so quiet. You have to have, you probably need to hear, probably need to have headphones to hear that. And then I'm also hearing what I'm going to call a war horn of some description. Um, and what I'm speaking about here with a war horn is the, um, is a horn that looks kind of like a tusk right um i can't really say for sure that that's what's making the sound in this video in this music but to me when i hear this that's what i think of like a war horn in um like a viking movie or something of that nature oh and i'm hearing a shaker too I love that. Um, I love that drum fill right there. So as you can tell here, some fairly harsh vocals um, got a little bit of grit in there and it's perfect for the feel of the song, right? Because this song is supposed to feel like a bunch of Vikings just landed on a shore and they're singing this song to hype themselves up and they're getting ready to go to battle and they get ready to raid another Viking clan or something like that. It really builds up this feel. I like how he hung on to spears right there. Spears! It just held it a little bit longer than you expect. Gives it that... There's so many nice little touches in here to make it really feel like it should feel in a Viking-style song and war chant. And a little bit of vibrato there. You don't normally expect that in a Viking song, but again, very nice creative touch. Oh, the favor of the thrill of blunder pulled together 
Ooh, I'm hearing a couple of background voices in here. Um, I guarantee you these are from Gav. Um, I'm trying to see what pitch they're singing, or if they're even pitched at all. Let me listen a little bit. Let me listen closely again. Sounds to me like it's a one note harmony. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, music gurus. I don't know if I remember hearing this in the original, so this is going to get interesting. Okay, so... Oh, 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 that part right there is one of the more iconic parts of the song, where if, if you've not heard this before, you've probably heard that, ch that part of the chant. Immaculate job here. Immaculate balance and blend of grit and clarity and cleanliness in the, in the lead part here. Very impressive. Um, it's hard to do this kind of singing without hurting yourself, in my opinion. Now, Gav's probably been doing this for a good hot minute. And we know he's very good at what he does, but he's, he's probably doing it in a healthy manner and is probably not risking his voice at all. But in my opinion, it can be difficult to do that without risking your vocal health. But the people, like I said, takes a huge amount of skill. Okay, so we've got an electric guitar in here and we've also got electric five string bass. Awesome. Um, it's got that nice heavy feel to it, and I, I, I love it. Now, I, I think of, now I'm starting to recollect the original. Um, I don't believe this actually had any guitars in it. So, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but my last memory of this cover is that it didn't have the guitar and bass in it before. So, but nonetheless, it sounds great. I, I love the heavy, um, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And I like the um the hammer on I love that. Beautiful. I love this. So there's a, another thing to mention here. Um, there is a very high guitar part in here somewhere. It's a F sharp five um, being played in the background. It's very, very subtle. Um, it adds a little bit of extra effect to this little section here. Also, drums. So we've got a pretty basic drum beat. So that's your basic drum feel. It's pretty pretty standard for this kind of flow for um, more heavier rock or metal. And it's great. I love the variations in kick. I love the open hi-hat that's going. And what I mean by an open hi-hat is um, whenever you hear a song and you hear a tss -tss -tss in the drums, that's a hi-hat. Now, whenever you hear that tss, the short... Um, the short part of a hi-hat, what that is, is that when the, there's actually two hi-hat symbols, and when they're closed, that's when you get that sound. However, when you have your hi-hats open a little bit more, 
you get more of this tinkling sound where it goes or it's like and what that sound is is when the hi-hats are slightly open you hit the top one and it's rattling against the bottom one and the more open you have it it the more different it sounds and the longer that the sound will attenuate and last if that makes any sense at all You see, you see, it's still a high hat, but it's lasting a lot longer. <laughs> Up to an F sharp four in chest there. Uh, no, scare. Excuse me. Let's see what note that was again. That's an E4. Yeah, that's an F sharp 4. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's got a pretty nice range, too, to add on to his already incredible talent. I just love these power chords that Gav is playing on the guitar in the bottom left hand corner. It's it's immaculate. It's an immaculate choice for a metal cover of this song. It's not it's not it's not a cover. It's just a metal version. It's I love this. It's a very nice choice to do power chords in here to get the original chords, harmonies, etc. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, oh, I think there's some throat singing going on in here. Ooh, 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 I love it. Okay, let's listen to this again. To me, it sounds like there's some throat singing. I think that's throat singing. Anyone that knows this technique better than I do, let me know if it's throat singing or not. It's an amazing, amazing addition to this piece. And I'm pretty sure he did this in the original too, but I just never really thought that much about it. Like it just kind of flew under the radar. I love it. I love this edition here. One more time. Throat singing or higher subharmonics, maybe? One or the other? Uh, <clears throat> I don't really remember this part in the original either, but I love it. It's just a great, it's a great, great section here. These drum breakdowns in the back, especially with the toms, amazing, amazing choice for the drums there. And also the ride cymbal is the really big one that you're hearing here. There's just one of them. And it's really good for breakdowns. Hold on. If you hit the ride symbol just right, it sounds really good. It, like, and it's perfect for drum fills and breakdowns in songs and bridges, especially too. Actually, no, not, I wouldn't say bridges. I would just say more breakdowns. Back to the hi-hat again. Ooh, there was a, there was like a hammer-on pull-off in the background in the electro, electric guitar. It was very subtle. Ah, ah. 
If you have headphones and you heard that, let me know in the comments. Ooh, I love that. I love that vocal section there. I gotta hear this. Um, I gotta hear this little piece again. I don't know. It could it could be either one, really. I guess. things to talk about real quick before this ends listen to how long he sustains this grit here and it's still going there it is and listen to the pretty wild kick drums here i love they're in the background with the rest of the drum kit and it's awesome And it sounds like he went to halftime. Percussionists in the comments, let me know. It sounds like he went to halftime, though. <sighs> it really sounds like throat singing. I loved it. singing hurts my voice a little bit it takes a lot of talent to do that <sighs> man guys gav fantastic job my friend this is incredible you have unknowingly set a an entire music movement in motion through tiktok and i'm sure you i'm sure you've recognized that by now but this stuff, this song, this cover, man, it's killer. And it's awesome. It's awesome to see the love that has come out of this song in particular, but even in the controversy that was surrounding this situation around Gav, Peyton Parrish, and all that, it's beautiful to see how many people this has positively affected because we've gotten several several different covers of these at this point everyone is showing gav love and showing the other covers love as well and i love it it's just there's so much good coming out of this it's awesome and for those that don't know gav is irish so who else is more qualified to do this song, right? As if he as if he wasn't qualified enough. All right, folks. Well, that's going to conclude the video for today. Like I said, if you are enjoying the content, you're gaining musical value and getting a better appreciation for the music that you like to listen to. I would appreciate a like and you drop a dot. Drop a dapa dapa. Drop a comment down below, even if it's just a smiley face. It helps with the algorithm. Take a visit to pay a visit to my Patreon if you are interested in supporting me or if you don't have anything to contribute financially, a subscription, a like, a comment, all that is just fine to me. They don't cost you a penny and they help me in big ways. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. This video was made possible by wonderful patrons like Miss Nancy Flesher. If you're interested in getting audio shoutouts or video shoutouts at the end of my videos, make sure you hit the link in my description to go to Patreon where you have that ability. Thank you so much for watching again. I love you. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.